Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for putting a like on the videos to help spread them. And of course, taking the time out of your day to uh, hit subscribe. I do appreciate that as we build this weather community leading up to this hurricane season. Definitely a hurricane season pattern now. No signs of development, though, in any of this, but we are seeing the train of tropical waves. The train of tropical waves is typical uh, this time of year. Usually that happens. Uh, with that said, they've been a little more robust than what we uh, typically see for this time of year. So I want to get into that, the chances of overall development, and I want to take a look at La Nina, plus some heavier rain totals moving in. But we have four tropical waves out there. Here are a couple, a new one, that new one I was watching yesterday coming off the coast of Africa, still kind of hanging together. Usually when you get these blobs moving off the coast of Africa this time of year, they hit the cooler water and almost totally fall apart. But these have been hanging tougher. Here's uh, the fourth one of the season. That's the third one. And we've got a couple already uh, in the uh, Caribbean now. And that's what I want to dive into. We have this one here, by the way, in Honduras. Some of that rain is getting a little bit close now, especially as we get into our eastern end. This is a gradual sign of that pattern changing. We just need more of this to move toward uh, Mexico and Belize, Guadalajara. Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua. We've had some rain and storms around, especially along the coast and over toward uh, Costa Rica and Panama. Now, Grenada, we had some welcome rain. That is such good news. Uh, Dominica, we've been seeing some of the rain. It's this tropical wave here. So this was the first one of the season. This is the second one of the season moving in Trinidad and Tobago. We've had some showers. Some spots have been dry, but others have had some showers. In some of this moisture here, what kind of happens this time of year? Some of it splits, works across into the eastern Pacific where there is a chance of development. I'll show you that in a moment. And then some of this may try to feed up to the north. So my friends in Jamaica, parts of Cuba, Cayman Islands, uh, even the southern Bahamas, we're going to see that chance of rain getting higher. So Bahamas, back through Florida, we've been so hot. A few showers and storms uh, now and then. Most of the action has been down to the south, but watching over toward a new Providence. Could see that rain chance eventually ticking up. Now, in the short term, this map I know is crazy. There's a lot of colors on this map. You see the red shading here. Here's Florida. Get back through the uh, Bahamas, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico get over toward Belize. This uh, red shading here, this is wind shear, which is our friend during the hurricane season. Wind shear and Saharan dust also our friend. Saharan dust is very tricky to see how much we're going to get as we get into the hurricane season, but that's always a big variable I'm keeping an eye on. But this wind shear kind of knocks apart some of these tropical waves so they can't develop, and that's a good thing. Now, the tropical waves themselves, we do like them because a lot of us need to get some of the rain. But what happens as we get into a La Nina period, so we're going from El Nino, it's pretty much done now. And over the next couple weeks, we crank into La Nina. It's just a, a global pattern that happens. Uh, but with La Nina in the Atlantic Basin, which is the Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, Overall, that means less wind shear. So we have a lot of wind shear right now, but throughout the season, that's going to relax. And what that means is less wind shear usually means more hurricanes because the showers and storms could really build up without the wind shear kind of knocking them apart. So I do believe we're going to have a lot of uh, tropical storms and hurricanes this year. It doesn't mean we're going to get hit. That's still a wait and see. We need to see the pattern. And there are other variables in the season just like some of the dust and pockets of dry air that I'll be watching. Now, this is average. On average, in a La Nina uh, summer, uh, a La Nina hurricane season that we're going into, there are usually 17 named storms and nine become hurricanes. In an El Nino pattern, usually on average, there are 11 named storms and five become hurricanes. So you could see with less wind shear, there's typically less, uh, uh, or with La Nina in less wind shear, there's more named storms. And that's the issue as we get into the season. I put out my forecast a few months ago, still going with that. We're going to see 20, 22, upwards of 25 named storms out there. There'll be a lot, but it's a wait and see. I don't, there's not a scare channel or anything like that. Uh, there's nothing out there right now as far as uh, any uh, development, at least on the Atlantic side. But these two tropical waves, let me show you that and the possibility of some development as we get over here on the eastern Pacific. But right now, you see this tropical wave here bringing some rain, scattered showers today, and still watching the scattered showers today. Barbados, St. Lucia, we're going to see a chance of some. Not as much as we get toward Montserrat, Ceiba, Antigua, and Barbuda, extreme northeastern sections of the Caribbean. 
getting a little quieter. Now let's go out in time and watch this as we work our way into our Friday. See that rain getting closer to Honduras, watching over toward uh, Providencia, uh, over toward uh, Nicaragua, some rain, of course, Costa Rica and Panama, Guyana and Suriname. We've had the flooding and even in parts of Venezuela now and back toward Colombia. While Belize, we have been just uh, incredibly dry in the bad sense of the term and back through Mexico. But this is Saturday. You I showed you how some of the moisture I was mentioning would kind of feed this way, but also some of it's going to feed up to the north. So by this weekend, parts of Cuba near the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, a better chance of some rain. Dominican Republic too. You see that just kind of creeping in this weekend. And that could include the Turks and Caicos and even the uh, Bahamas. You see central and southern Bahamas. By the time we get into Sunday, the rain chance is going to start to uh, go up. So we'll monitor this, but not seeing any signs of organization because remember I just showed you the wind shear. There's a lot of wind shear. Now this time of year, the water's, well, not this time of year, but right now the water is very warm. I was talking about that over the last couple videos. So there's always a chance something can spin up. If it does, I'll let you know. But either way, you see the increased chance of rain here. And then this catching my eye, the next tropical wave is going to start to bring in more moisture for some of us in the Eastern Caribbean this weekend and early next week. So let me swing you around with some of the potential rain totals. You see Jamaica, this is the uh, next three days. So this is uh, today, this is Friday into Saturday, right on the edge of the rain, but Saturday into Sunday, some of this will be starting to move in. Elsewhere, Cuba, this is mainly isolated afternoon storms. Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, not as much. So uh, if you do get some rain, 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain, more in a few spots if you get some thunderstorms. But deeper into the weekend, I'll be watching that surge of moisture getting closer to Jamaica. Haiti and the Dominican Republic. So thank you for getting that information out across Jamaica and Hispaniola. And you see the rain chance not, or the rain totals not as high, but that doesn't mean the next couple of days we're not going to get some scattered showers and storms. Puerto Rico, U.S. British Virgin Islands, over toward uh, St. Martin, St. Uh, Bart, uh, St. Kitts and uh, Nevis, we'll see a chance of some passing showers. Now as we get here, uh, as we work our way into Saturday, we're going to see another uptick in the rain. We still have some scattered showers around this morning in some spots in some of our islands. Islands, but as we work forward into Saturday, we'll see another surge of moisture. So you see over toward Trinidad, we could get a few spots over 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. And then this here, obviously a problem, Guyana, Suriname, and now back toward Venezuela, some very high totals. Please keep me posting in the comments. If you're getting even any flooding, put your location and what you're getting. And we are thinking of you with some of those higher totals. Now this here, a gradual pattern change for Central America it still needs to creep up really into Mexico and back toward uh, Belize, but you see coastal sections of Nicaragua on the Caribbean side over toward uh, the Bay of Campeche, and then Costa Rica, Panama, uh, Providencia, uh, San Andres, and then even into extreme eastern Honduras, that rain chance is making the climb over the next few days. We just need more of that. So as these tropical waves continue to move across, eventually, as I mentioned, uh, late into the first week of June, second week of June, Central America, back through Mexico, we'll see a better chance of rain. Bigger storms pulling back toward the U.S. Not as much in Mexico, though, in the short term. It is going to be so dry. But back toward the eastern Pacific, there's that uh, area of rain near Nicaragua and Costa Rica. And some will lift to Jamaica. Other uh, batches of it will move into the eastern Pacific. Now, as it moves into the eastern Pacific, there are some signs, some of the modeling picking up on uh, the conditions being uh, conducive for some some development. So as we go over the next several days into next week, there is a chance of some development back on the eastern Pacific side as that area just continues to work its way off to the west. But you see those rain totals so, so low as we get back through my friends in Belize and back toward Mexico. Bigger storms popping up right in the middle of the U.S. today. That's where there's going to be uh, more uh, of the uh, potential of severe weather even stretching back toward Texas as we go from today into tomorrow. Once again, rounds of severe weather. You see it right there. That's what I was talking about right there. Uh, Bermuda, we're going to see a front passing by. I'll show you that in the three-day forecast with that rain chance increasing. And then we look down here as we get into Friday and the weekend. There's some of the moisture moving there. And then there it is, streaming right up there, getting closer to Jamaica by the time we get into our Saturday afternoon. Swinging up here, kind of the top ends of the uh, systems. A few scattered showers watching oh, uh, Maine toward uh, Nova Scotia today. Newfoundland, we could get a shower. 
Most of the heaviest stuff will be just to the south for today. Then as we get into tomorrow, some of that moisture clips us by Newfoundland, and then we'll be waiting on that next system. Once we get into Saturday, we'll start to see some of that getting closer. As we work our way into Saturday, look what happens uh, with the uh, rain here. You can see a lot of it just down to the south. You see it there, and then another batch uh, back to the west, uh, getting closer to the, or moving through the uh, Great Lakes and over toward uh, Quebec. Uh, but this rain here by Sunday is going to be lifting up to the north, so rain chance will get higher. Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, uh, Prince Edward Island, uh, Newfoundland as we get into uh, deeper into the uh, weekend. So Jamaica, our rain chance is going to get higher later on Saturday. Still some scattered showers and storms the next few days, but watching how close that moisture gets. So uh, let me know what you're getting or not getting the next couple of days. Even in the Cayman Islands, we've been very dry. Uh, the rain chance is starting to uh, tick up, and the rain chance in uh, Trinidad and Tobago, by the time we get into Saturday, starts to trend up Sunday it looks like it could be higher uh, in uh, Trinidad with that next tropical wave moving in. And you see a hint of that on Saturday in Barbados, that rain chance will be higher. Not all day stuff, but scattered showers. You see it ticking up as we work our way into the weekend over towards St. Lucia with that next tropical, tropical wave. Again, there's a couple more out there. We have four right now, and that pattern is going to continue. Grenada, this has already panned out. We had some of the rain. I've been watching that overnight and this uh, morning, and we'll see it trying to creep back up as we get into the weekend. We get over towards St. Vincent and the Grenadine. And same thing with these tropical waves around 40% chance the next couple days in Martinique. Rain chance as we get into Dominica, about a 60% chance. We've already had some of the showers around uh, for today. 50% chance today in Guadeloupe and about a 20 to 30% chance. Not as much Antigua and Barbuda lifting up toward the northeast. Uh, Caribbean isolated shower. St. Kitts, Nevis and Montserrat. Very isolated. Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance not super high yet. St. Martin, Sabin, and Stacia, 20 to 30% chance. 40% chance today in Puerto Rico, but we'll be watching uh, as we work our way into Sunday to see some of that moisture over toward uh, the DR, just how close it gets. Isolated showers, U.S. and British Virgin Islands over toward uh, St. Croix. The Bahamas, rain chance holding at generally 20% the next couple days. But as we get into the weekend, I showed you some of that rain that will be trying to lift into the southern Bahamas first and then into the northern Bahamas, especially late Saturday into Sunday. And you see that on Saturday, rain chance getting higher in the Turks and Caicos. Uh, Dominican Republic rain chance will be getting higher this weekend. Same thing in Haiti and I'll monitor for any areas of flooding and watching those river crossings carefully. Belize were too dry, but at least Overall, we're seeing some signs of the pattern. It doesn't help us if we're just simply dry right now, uh, but there is some rain trying to creep into a hun Honduras, and that is helpful just to break the pattern. 20, 30% chance Aruba, Curacao and uh, Bonaire, otherwise on the hot side. And watching for some areas of flooding still in Guyana today. There's been a lot of flooding the last few days. Suriname, rain chance stays elevated. Cuba, this is mainly isolated afternoon storms. About a 90% chance today. Costa Rica and Panama, that rain chance is going to be higher. 20 to 30% chance in Honduras starting to tick up a little bit higher. More like a 40-50% chance uh, in our extreme eastern zones. Inland, we're going to be drier. In Mexico City, that rain chance has actually dropped off very isolated, about a 10 uh, to 30% uh, chance. Yucatan and Mexico, not a lot either. 40% chance of rain in northern Venezuela. You get a little bit more to the south. That's where that rain chance is even higher. 60% chance as we work our way into Bermuda tomorrow with that front uh, passing by. Keep me posted in Bermuda. So these tropical waves continue to pump in. Areas of rain on the move. No signs of development uh, in the Atlantic Basin as of now. I watch out for any signs of those changes. Central America, the pattern gradually starting to break, but it will still take a week or two into June to get that full pattern change, but at least these tropical waves are in sight and are starting to move in. And by the way, the hurricane season, it starts June 1st. So thank you for building this weather community, subscribing and sharing it with your friends and family. I see that in the comments. I hope you have a good and safe rest of your day.